Actor and martial artist Jason David Now Frank, word has broken that one of the original Power the Rangers, the Jason David Frank, Frank has died. Reported out for privacy for his loved ones. Frank is survived by his four children. He was 49 years old. On November 20th, 2022, Power Rangers Jason David Frank was found and pronounced dead via way of self-deletion at the age of 49. Now, for many of you in uh, my generation or the generation under, you will remember the Power Rangers as a, a afternoon, weekly, uh, or daily show that uh, was there as a placeholder, maybe for the latchkey kids to watch, but um, it did move sort of the martial arts culture forward. Uh, it was a martial arts-based fantasy uh, series that honestly, uh, not just myself, but my little brother and folks on a younger generation that happened to be around us would watch. But I don't want to talk about this man's career as much as I want to talk about an interesting post that I got from Coach Greg Adams on his Instagram, Coach Greg Adams TV. And this is the thing that I think can get the most value out of this tragic event. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the post and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to offer some commentary and some understanding. What does the post say? It says, this is why I love doing what I do. It's an uncomfortable conversation that no one has been able to prove me a liar. They just wish I would stop or give balance. The reality is men are getting crushed out here and no one will care. Even if you Robin Williams yourself, this part will not be discussed. They will just ask to give their family privacy, scoop him in a pine box, tombstone him, spend his life insurance and money. My goal is to make sure no man is alone or blamed for divorces in which 80% are filed by women and 85% of children are alienated from the father. As long as men see this as their only alternative, there's no amount of haters that will stop my message. So I found this message very interesting and I wanted to understand why Coach Adams was saying this. And then I realized that August 23rd, 2022, Power Rangers star Jason Frank's wife, Tammy, files for divorce, citing, um, amongst other things, infidelity. So here's my commentary on this. As long as men are alienated from their families via divorce, these tragedies will happen. Now, I'm not saying, uh, and I'm not here to pass judgment of whether he, uh, whether he committed infidelity, whether he was abusive. But what I'm saying is that regardless, only in very extreme cases should a man be held away from his children. We have to look at the facts and the facts say 80% of divorces are filed by women. Why are women filing divorces at this rate? 80% of men who get married can't, just can't be, they, they just can't be wrong. They can't be all bad. Uh, I mean, uh, is, uh, is the vetting system that bad that no one knows who they're marrying? We don't know exactly what happened between Jason David Frank and Tammy Frank. And we can't put the blame on her because we didn't know the type of mental health issues that he was himself going through. The unfortunate thing that I want to focus on is how the unrealistic expectations of people and what they think that marriage should be like, especially pertaining to the ladies here. You can see that women are not happy with their marriages, that they initiate most of the divorces, saying that their partner is not emotionally available to them that there's infidelity, even though women have been shown, have been known to be cheating as much as men. Finances is definitely another key indicator that a marriage will not succeed. In this particular situation, Jason David Frank and Tammy Frank, from what I can see, having his martial arts schools, his brand, Jason David Frank, as Tommy, the Power Ranger, his many appearances in the Power Ranger series, so we don't know what kind of contracts he's got working there. The merchandise, does he get a percentage of that? From what I can gather, it seems like this man was well off. His reputation was also intact, and his fans adored him. 
So let's say there is infidelity and she initiated divorce and Jason having to undergo and deal with the tragedy of being afflicted by a mental health issue like depression. These combination of events pulled him to a dark path where he eventually took his own life. What I have to ask is, and I'm not trying to blame her, but if Tammy, does she know about Jason David Frank's struggles to see the kind of work that he put in day in and day out to keep their marriage intact, to keep his business afloat, to be a father to his children and to fight off his own inner demons, the ones that attack him every day, possibly saying he's not good enough, that he's not worthy of his success. I'm just speculating here, but I find it intriguing that a man this successful took his own life as his marriage was falling apart. And I have to ask women, when you get into these marriages, do you have unrealistic expectations for your man or your husbands? Do you constantly compare yourself to everyone else on social media? Are you addicted to that dopamine rush of finding that the grass is greener on the other side and that there is a better man out there for you? Your supposed soulmate. What's madness to me is that women, men, but especially women, are unable to endure into the trials, tribulations, and challenges and the journey of having a marriage. We don't know what Jason David Frank was going through. We don't know what Tammy Frank was going through. But I can safely say, and I can safely generalize, that Tammy Frank's mindset, and along with all the other women that want to get married, initiate these divorces because they feel like there's not enough emotion availability. There's a lack of financial resources, not enough intimacy in the relationship and possibly wanting to look for better in their life. It's a sorry, sad state of affairs that us as a society is always looking for that dopamine rush or something better. The simple fact is this. In past times, there was always been infidelity. And women uh, today akin uh, marriage of the past to slavery. The same marriage that raised this uh, nation into a strong middle class, the same system that uh, raised the same people telling me their parents and their parents before them. Now, I'm not saying that you should ever stick with anybody if there's abuse or, or if there's uh, extreme cheating, but I'm saying that in all cases, Everyone can't, in every case, all men can't be wrong. My real commentary is this, the public shaming of men in a public marketplace for every decision that men make is absolutely out of control. A man cheats, he's shamed publicly, TMZ blows it up. A man, if men want to date younger women, they're looked upon as predatory, even if the age discrepancy is 10 years and this man is 38 years old and this woman's 28. It's inappropriate. So this is another thing I can't really stand about this whole Leonardo DiCaprio situation or when any man dates a woman younger than himself, but she is of age to be able to date, to have a family, to be a wife. Why is it that the ladies, that the women get so upset with their competition? They're ruling themselves out, projecting their own insecurities and fears, knowing that the younger, younger competition is getting the attention of more successful, established, older men. And this is also a hint to your younger guys out there, is that you will be in a position of power and influence one day as you get older in age. And to those guys, don't get so jealous about older guys dating younger girls. You're gonna be there one day. Learn from the game, they have the blueprint of success. And to the ladies, instead of focusing on that, why don't you focus on doing something for yourself to make yourself a better, catch to a prospective partners because in my day-to-day -day life in my experiences and i'm sure you guys can out there agree there are some women that are older they might not be as valuable quote unquote valuable on the dating market but they do get a ring on the finger when they become the best kind of wife to that prospective husband 
Just because a man wants to date someone younger does not mean he's a predator. Because ladies, you're not even gonna get that kind of man anyway because he's worked himself to a position where he can attract the best kind of resources, the people, the situations, romantic partners, situationships for himself. So mind your own damn business. If a man wants a woman to look a certain way, it's inappropriate. If a man wants anything, it's inappropriate. If a man wants uh, to come home to a hot cooked meal, it's akin to uh, servitude, it's akin to slavery somehow. If, uh, you know, all of these things that I've said absolutely brings men to the choice where a lot of men are going their own way. A lot of men are getting their passports and going overseas. A lot of men are doing anything except trying to deal with Western women. And in the end, who loses? I see tons of women saying, well, I don't care. Let them go. I see tons of women saying that. But in the end, who loses? I've seen this personally. No one wants to be alone at the end. This this falsehood of you don't need anybody, this falsehood of independence. Independence means singular, alone, not needing anything. But an independent person is by themselves. And, and I've seen this on both sides of the spectrum. And I say this in closing, it's ugly at the end when you're by yourself. It's a, such an unfortunate tragedy, especially during this holiday season, since today is Thanksgiving Day. So I encourage everyone out there to work on themselves, to network with like-minded individuals, spend time with their families, invest in the things that you can control, and look towards a brighter future. Let's pray for the people that we've lost and pray for Jason David Frank and his family. It's an unfortunate tragedy. So spend your time wisely on the things that can only enlighten your life. This is the Happiness Podcast. I'm Grover. Oh, yeah, it's my turn. I'm Scotty. This mother <laughs> right here. Boy. Leave your comments and like and subscribe on YouTube. Booty in your face. We found true happiness.